Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I want to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. All right, so today I want to tell you about a party called a My Favorite Things Party. Now, this is a party that I went to over the weekend, so I just kind of wanted to tell you about it. If you don't have someone in your circle of friends that does this party, I highly recommend you starting it. All right, so you can go on Pinterest and look up details. I think there's several different ways that you can do it, but I'm just gonna share with you how my friend Kendall does this. So everybody brings five items that cost no more than $6. And it can be anything. The fun part about this is that everybody typically brings something different. Now there's usually gonna be a few people that bring something from Bath & Body. There's probably gonna be a few people that bring certain kinds of chocolate candy, things like that. But overall, I think there were between 20 and 30 people. There were not many repeats at all. So it was a lot of fun. So anyway, every person brings five items that cost no more than $6. You bring five of one thing. So I brought Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. That's my favorite candy. And they have a holiday edition that I really like. So I brought five bags of the same thing and then you leave with five different things the way she does it is she has everybody write their name either on a piece of paper or a popsicle stick or something like that and you put it in a container and then she draws names so that everybody can take a turn going and when it's your turn to go you stand up you tell about your favorite item why it's your favorite item and then you draw five names to give them away to. Now, sometimes there's gonna be repeats, so you'll have to just kind of put it back and then draw another one, but it's a lot of fun. So I just thought it would be fun to share with you what I came home with. All right, so the first thing I came home with is this galvanized metal sign that says gather. I thought this was so cute. Uh, one of my friends, she brought five different decorating items from Hobby Lobby, which I thought was adorable, and this is so cute. All right. So the next thing I got, I don't really remember like what order I got these in, but one of the other things that I got is, I, is a box of Whoppers. Can't go wrong with chocolate candy. All right, so the next thing I got is a pair of really cute fuzzy socks. These feel so good. I'm so excited to wear these. All right, the next thing I got is a really cute bookmark. It's got a really cute tassel on it, and it's got an owl, and it says just one more chapter. So cute. My favorite part about the party, though, is hearing everybody talk about their favorite things. It was just a lot of fun. It's a fun way to kind of get to know people in your circle even better, because, you know, a lot of times you've got like a circle of friends, and then you've got kind of a bigger circle, and so this party kind of everybody's there and it's a lot of fun to just kind of find out more things about your friends or your acquaintances that you don't necessarily know a whole lot about. The other thing that I do want to mention is at the party, she served all of her favorite foods, which I thought was great. So we had taco soup and movie theater popcorn and chips and salsa from one of her favorite restaurants. And she had some of her favorite candies and desserts put out. And it was just so much fun. Like I said, if someone in your circle of friends does not host this party each Christmas, do it. All right, so the next thing I got is a candle. So pretty. And the scent is fresh melon, which if you know me at all, one of my favorite things ever is watermelon. And this one straight up smells like watermelon. So I'm excited about this. During the party, the host also had a few gift baskets of her favorite things that she wanted to give away to a few people that were there. The first basket that she gave away had a lot of coffee items in it. It had some really nice fair trade coffee. It had, I don't even remember what all was in it, but I was like, oh, I want that. <laughs> and then the next gift basket that she gave away, I actually won, which was really exciting. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. You don't have to do like some a giveaway when you throw the party, but it really is a lot of fun. And it's just kind of a fun way for the host to kind of show off kind of collectively things that she really likes. All right, so here's the basket that I won. And let me just tell you, if you're looking for a gift idea for somebody, just put some of your favorite things in it and give it to one of your friends. They will love it. All right, so first of all, the basket is adorable. I'm actually gonna use this basket on my kitchen counter to put hot chocolate in. 
All right, so let me show you all the goodies that are in here. First thing is watermelon Sour Patch Kids. These are one of my favorite candies. All right, the next thing, okay, check out these socks. How cute are these? They've got the little pom-poms. They're super fuzzy inside. They're nice and, I mean, they're just cute. And then they've got the, um, the no slip grips on the bottom. Super, super cute. All right, the next thing is a really nice Starbucks travel mug. Can't go wrong with one of those. I really like this and I like the color of this one. All right, so the next thing is a handful of Dove chocolates because you know, chocolate's always a good thing. And then there was also a gift card for Starbucks and a gift card for movie tickets. So yay. So I was super excited about this. I'm actually gonna use this um, for a date night one night. So exciting. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Like I said, if you have never been to a My Favorite Things party, look it up on Pinterest. There are tons and tons of ways to host one, tons of ways to kind of set up parameters and do different things, and your friends will love it. They will come and they will keep coming year after year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.